When we think of architecture, we tend to think of grand buildings like the Empire State Building in New York City, the Colosseum in Rome, or more recently the Olympic Water Cube in Beijing. However, Southern California is home to some fascinating examples of inspired architecture built on a smaller and more familiar scale. Several notable architects built a number of iconic homes that remain standing to this day. Some are private homes, while others are now protected and preserved by foundations and are open to the public. We begin with Frank Lloyd Wright's Hollyhock House, located in East Hollywood. It was originally built for oil heiress Aileen Barnsdale from 1919 to 1921. The home features a Maya-inspired style of embellishing the home with a repeated pattern, which in this case is the hollyhock flower. Wright's importance to architecture was his passion in pursuing his ideal of a building and its construction as it related to the building site. Many of his innovative ideas were the foundations and influences of later modern architecture. Our next notable house is the Gamble House in Pasadena, completed for Mary and David Gamble of Proctor and Gamble, in 1909 by Charles and Henry Green, it is a masterpiece example of the American arts and crafts movement. The triple front entry doors alone are a beautiful work of leaded art glass, featuring a Japanese black pine as its motif. The interiors of the home feature several different types of woods used such as mahogany, teak, oak, maple, and cedar. Most of the interiors, including the detailed woodwork and furniture, were also designed by the Greens. A little bit of trivia for you all is that this house was also featured in Back to the Future 1. Jumping a few de decades ahead, we come to the Ames House in the Pacific Palisades. It was built in 1949 by Charles and Ray Ames for the famous Case Study House program sponsored by the Arts and Architecture magazine. From 1945 to 1966, the Case Study House program commissioned various architects of the period to build inexpensive, well-designed model homes for the housing boom that the country was experiencing. Overall, the Ames House is pretty simple in its design, that of a large rectangle box with different colored clear glass panels on the sides. But the interior is well laid out and it's meant to mix work and comfortable living spaces together seamlessly. The house was such a success that the Ames moved into their own design and lived among their clutter until their deaths. On a side note, their clutter was unusual for modernists since sleek, stark, and uncomplicated define the movement. However, their real life living and design aesthetics continue to influence the renewed interest in modern home styles. Our next home is the Stahl House, sitting high up in the Hollywood Hills. It was most famously photographed by Julius Schulman at night, featuring two women leisurely relaxing while behind them is a panoramic view of Los Angeles, visible through the home's floor-to-ceiling glass windows as the home hangs over the cliff's edge. Designed by Pierre Koenig and completed in 1959, the home has been featured in a number of fashion shoots and at least five films. It is also part of the case study house program. Today it is privately owned, but tours are also possible when posted on www.stallhouse.com. Our final home to share is the Chemosphere, also in the Hollywood Hills. The strangeness of its name reflects the oddness of its structure. It is quite literally a UFO shaped octagon held 30 feet above ground by a column in the hillside sloping 45 degrees. It was built in 1960 by John Lautner for a young engineer named Leonard Mullen. A concrete foundation nearly 20 feet in diameter is buried in the earth and supports the concrete column, holding the house up. Because of this buried foundation, the house has been able to survive earthquakes and storms alike over the years.